Let's take a look at improper fractions and mixed numbers. So on the slide here, we have some improper fractions or top heavy fractions where the number on the top is bigger than the number on the bottom. That means that these fractions have a value which is greater than one. Now the line in a fraction means divide. So nine over four means nine divided by four. How many fours go into nine? Well, four goes into nine twice and there is one left over. And the one left over is gonna be one over and it's always gonna be the same bottom number as in the original fr fraction. So the answer is two and a quarter. So nine quarters or nine over four is the same as two and a quarter. And this is a much more sensible way to give an answer to a question. If I said to you that I'd eaten nine quarters of a pizza, a bit of a strange thing to say, but if I said two and a quarter pizzas, then you've got a better idea of just how much pizza I've eaten. So 12 sevenths means 12 divided by seven. How many sevens go into 12? One with five left over, so that's one and five sevenths. 26 fifths, 26 divided by five. How many fives go into 26? Well, it goes five times with one remaining, so that's five and one fifth. 32 over three means 32 divided by three. Three goes into 32 10 times with two left over, so that's 10 and two thirds. Converting mixed into improper is much easier. All we need to do is three times by five plus three. So three times five is 15 plus three is 18 fifths. Five and a quarter, five times four is 20 plus the one, 21 quarters. Nine and seven tenths, nine multiplied by 10 is 90 plus the seven is 97 tenths. When we're adding mixed numbers, I would just do this as two separate questions. So three plus two and separately three fifths plus one quarter. Three plus two is five. Three fifths and a quarter, we're gonna to have to turn them into 20th. So three fifths to three into a 20, uh, sorry, a five into a 20 is a times by four calculation. So three times four is 12 and one quarter we to turn a quarter into a 20th, you're multiplying by five. So the top times by five as well is five 20ths. 12 plus five is 17 20ths. So now all we need to do is just combine the five and the 17 20ths, five and 17 20ths. With this next example, let's just do five plus four is nine. One half plus seven ninths. I'm gonna convert these into eighteenths. Seven out of nine is the same as 14 out of 18, just doubling the top and the bottom. And a half is the same as nine out of 18, multiplying the top and the bottom by nine. And nine plus 14 is 23 eighteenths. So uh, we could com combine these into nine and 23 eighteenths, but this looks a bit weird because we've got a top heavy fraction here. 23 eighteenths, that is the same as one and five eighteenths. So this number is nine and one and five eighteenths. So again, let's just combine the whole numbers, 10 and then the five eighteenths. Subtracting mixed numbers, again, a bit like adding, just do it in two stages. So four take away two is two, six sevenths minus one quarter. We're gonna be converting these fractions into 28, so that's the lowest number that we can divide by both seven and four. S to go from seven to 28, you're multiplying by four, so six times four is 24. Four to a 28 is a times seven, so one times seven is seven. So 24 take away seven is 17 28. So all we need to do now is just combine the two and the 17 28 to get two and 17 28, and we're done.